way. I think the bottom lane is going to be a repeat of what we saw last time around. And there's the brand. This is just the other. It's going to work out better, perhaps, for Bro. Let's see if it does. We're up into the rift. And they're going to be well, uh, walking on over here as Doiv looking to try and keep himself a little bit more invisible. It's an interesting situation as far as the start is concerned. It's going to be uh, Dudu now pushing Morgan away. That ward is so valuable because it allows Dudu to know he can push up to try here and get a free auto. Oh, and going to have his bone plating broken. It's a good start here as already they're putting so much pressure on once again. I've seen this. Someone is flashing. Exactly. This time it's Andal. Uh, on his opposition, so trying to put the pressure on a little bit too hard and put some of those autos into an Ezreal that's going to get healed by Rakan as Leaper and Andor have full health until now. Yep, Polo goes in, presses the Eclipse button and is going to be absolutely fine. Level 3 feels pretty good to the Leona. And I say until now, but actually even after that, they're at full health. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Doiv, definitely not the same level of agency this time around. That's all right, Polo going in. Leaper taking a fair bit of damage here is now Envy chasing after them. Frost shot slowing down the members of Quantum Freaks, but they are standing their ground now. And the arrow will fly out. Only level fives here for Andal and Leaper, unfortunately. And there's first blood in the 2v2 for Envy and Polo. You All don't right. need CS if you just kill champions, Wolf. Yep, just kill them. And Envy actually clearing out that control ward as well. They have so much vision here on this bottom side. As Morgan might just be solo kill. No, he's not. He's under a turret. It's, he's going to be. Okay. He might be duo killed. He might be ganked. Indeed. Does get that ward over, and that does mean that uh, Cuz is going to be spotted at killing Grubs. But Dudu has a Narbar at a decent position. Two Grubs are picked up by Bro as Envy moving on in. You can see Fate now fighting against Bulldog, who does go back to his soul there. And Dudu will hit Mega. Still not able to actually contest these Grubs. So three apiece for both teams. With Fate pushing that mid wave in. A little bit wary about what could happen here with Envy also missing topside. Morgan's back up there. Oh, oh yeah. no. Yeah, Bulldog possibly out of position. There's the flash forward. Of course there's the flash forward from Polo. And the unbound soul was his demise. You can see Bulldog there in the player cam looking a little frustrated as well. As the all out now onto Dudu. Morgan identifying that there is no Narbar there. And now this is just going to be the dragon. Oh, true shot barrage. Trying to go for a steal there is Leaper, but it's not going to be able to happen. And there is the Hextech, I believe, actually called by uh, our mate Yundo in the back room with some better play. And that hasn't quite started just yet. It might start now, though, as Cuz. We're going to try and challenge the Pillar of Flame. So much damage, though. Quickness over the top of them. But where's the damage to follow up? As, oh, my God, the journey that Polo just went on was gigantic. And Fate picks up the kill on the Rakan. Morgan finding the angle. Cuz is executed. Leaper annihilated. And Bro are activated in round two. And they are just Kwangdong's kryptonite, Atlas. I mean, this is just insane. This is the time where the Bros can turn off. Yeah. Right now, it's looking real good. No teleport from Morgan, of course, because of that play. So won't be able to join except by walking Bulldog faster on the track. They're going to try to come in and punish him. Yeah, Fate is actually just going to try and do as much damage as possible. Just moves straight over to that soul. Volley's flying in. Polo down to 50%. They're still wanting to stand up here as Doi getting very low. But look at Fate. These rockets really start to hurt. But Dudu, he has the Mega. Wallop comes on down. The arrow is going to connect here onto Andil. That is going to be the Rift Herald secured as the Glacial Prison does not very much of anything at all. They're a little bit split, but Polo is also a little bit dead. Still, Cuz just trying to run away. Envy just following him with these frost shots. Gets distracted by Leaper as Andil with the quickness is not really doing much of anything. And there's the all out Andil. He keeps himself alive. Oh, Morgan! Not able to get in there and do it. The health bar is so low and they're just getting executed. Fate trying to do it, but he'll get taken down as well. Oh, bro. All just falling apart there in that play. What is it? 2021 Spring? We flipping for Harold? Oh, dear. Oh, dude. Okay, oh. he gives them one back. He gives them one back.
He gives him oh, one back. Oh, Trusha Barrage. Okay, it's fine. Dudu. Yeah, the Nava are in a great position this time around as well, as Envy is immediately going to cleanse. Flashes away from the Nar at the same time, but it means Yash isn't in the team fight. The quickness is so incredibly powerful. Morgan, he gets a huge all out, but they've taken down the Brent. Oh, goodness. Okay, Dudu, that is not where you want it to be. That is an angry Cassante, and he ain't getting Flame Horizon this time, as Fate is chasing after Andil. Wants to be able to get this kill. Let's see whether he can actually uh, get in there. It is actually going to be Fate that collects it. And we're back even in goal. Yep, it is even steep. Soul Point. Yep, Soul Point is actually coming on through here because he has won those and he is going to do so. Just presses the smite button. Is now Polo. He has the Eclipse, but he's still going to get cut down. Morgan finding Doodoo, -Doo, but he's looking for the rest of the team. And I think Morgan's just really dead. He's not even going to flash in this moment just realizing that he's just going to get chased down after that. So it is now Bro's turn to find the inopportune play. And right. some questionable moments in this game, just like he did in game one. I'm not convinced Conan have a lead. And the thing that I'm convinced about is the fact that the item spikes are starting to come in. There's the teleport. The out of oh, the setup from Morgan and Envy. That was gorgeous. And Fate is just going to cash it in. Here, Fate goes in for the TP as well during the play to make sure they have enough damage. This is Morgan's comms in the moment. Yep. And Envy, I think, just pinged it out. Said exactly where it was going to be. And special oh, delivery. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Morgan. Nice, and he told him to eat the kill as well. well. He's like, get it. Mm. Giving it to you, Fate. He is selfless. You can see it's Morgan selling it. Yep. They get the control ward in. And Bro, not actually going to do this. And in the meantime, the inner turret's going to go down and the Drake's going to go down as well. Like, Bro, I don't know whether this was the call. This was not the way. And they are just going to move all together to try and defend their inner turret in the mid lane as well. Fight, they got to get close to the Sparrow Pit there. So far away, Asher yeah. is still not back. Well, Andal taking a little bit of damage here as they just try to lock down the Baron. There it goes. Not quite able to kill Doiv, but they do exactly what they need to do. Really well played by Kwandong Freaks. And they are just playing the map so much better than Bro. Bro just being ran around a little bit. And they, they couldn't do what they wanted to do last time, which was... And now Bro, they're just going to start it up. Bulldog is in the top lane, winning the game. And Bro are just doing Baron. Okay, Quickness is going to fly in from Andal as well. That is a whole lot of work that he's getting done here as Polo is just trying to play Bouncer as best he can. Envy. Fate is fighting against Leaper and losing, and they are all dying one after the other. He might be able to get Leaper, but that is going to be it. That is the ace. And Kwandong Freaks can just go back to what Bulldog was doing earlier and look to return the favor here to the bros and bring us to game three. It's game three, the series we expected. Going the distance. Envy in that fight, hitting a very, very tanky Sejuani. Not able to put the damage into the carries. Double teleport turns a 5v3 to a 5v5. The wallets, they were heavy. Bondo Freaks with some better map reads here. And they're going to bring us to that third and final game. There goes the Nexus. One on Freaks. Leaper did the boom boom, which means he might be front runner for POG. Though there's some positional mistakes in this one. 